first thing you need to do to create your fish is you need to take your hand and you need to pull off a piece about the size of a really large lemon. All right, now you're gonna use this later to create all the different parts of your fish, so you wanna lay that aside. Take the rest of your clay and you're just gonna be begin smashing this in your hands to create a ball. Kind of roll it to start to smooth it out. You can roll it on your mat. That's a little bit easier. All right, now when you've got a nice sphere, we are going to flatten this out into a slab. So this is gonna be really loud. It's gonna sound like thunder for a little bit, but you're just gonna take your hands and you're gonna start smashing your clay with the palm of your hand. Don't use your fingers. See how that puts little bitty dots and stuff all over it? We don't want that. We wanna smash it flat with our hand. Again, this is gonna be really loud and we're gonna to try to flatten this out until it's about as thick as an Oreo. All right, I've got my slab as about, as about as thick as an Oreo cookie. I'm gonna pick it up and flip it, press it a little bit more, and now I'm ready to create the body of my fish. I'm gonna take my slab, and I'm just gonna fold it up like a taco, just like this. I'm gonna start on one side, I'm gonna leave the end open because this is gonna be our fish's mouth, and I'm just gonna start pinching all the way across to create the backside of my fish. Now this is where you can spend a little time. If you look really closely, you can see that down the back or down the top edge of that, I've got a little seam. So you can use your fingers to start to smooth that together. And then you can just start working on the fin or the back fin of your fish and think about how you want that to look. But you just use your fingers to kind of shape that and smooth it out into whatever you imagine it to look like, all right? Now, we need to create a space for the tail of our fish. So we're gonna run our fingers down um, that back fin, and about three quarters of the way down, we're just gonna take it and we're gonna pull out a section just like this to create the back tail of our fish. All I did was pinch out this little piece right here to create um, a little separation between the back fin and the tail. Um, it helps if you take your fish and you just kind of gently tap him up and down to flatten out the base so that he'll stand up really well. And then again, you can just use your fingers to kind of shape the tail. You want to press it in flat all the way on the back. If you want to curve it a little to make a little curved tail, if you want to leave it straight out like that, that's totally up to you. All right, once we've got our fish's body complete, we're gonna take our clay and we're gonna start using coils, slabs, and spheres to create all the different facial features of our fish. So the first thing I'm gonna do is pull off two small pieces of clay about the size of a small, um, maybe a grape or a raisin, and I'm just gonna roll those into my hand to create a little sphere. Now, if we were to take these spheres and just stick those onto our fish like that, when this fish started to dry, it would be so easy to just break those off. So everything that we add to our fish, we have to score and slip. And what I mean by that is we take the toothbrush and we scratch the backside, which is scoring. And since it's wet, um, that is creating what we call slip or sort of like a glue that holds all of our clay parts together. So you will score and slip every single piece that you put onto this fish. You can place the um, spheres on the head of your fish to make it look like eyes. And then you can take the flat end of your wood tool and you can push that in to each one to create the little eyeballs for your fish. Okay, the next step is to create um, coils for the lips. So I'm gonna pull off a small piece of clay and I'm just gonna start to squeeze it into my hand just like this to create the shape of a little log or a coil. And then I'm gonna finish it off by rolling it across my mat, just back and forth with my fingers until I have a nice long coil that I can shape around the opening of my fish's mouth to create lips. Now, you will have to just kind of be the judge as far as size goes. Um, I'm gonna cut off that one end because it's a little too big. So you can take your coil and you can just place it around the edge just to see how big it is. If it's a little too long, you can lay it down and just chop a little piece off with your wood tool. When you're happy with the length, take your toothbrush, 
You're gonna score and slip along the edge of the lips and then you're just gonna press that scored and slip side into your fish just like this. The next part is creating a tongue. It's very simple. You just pull off a small piece of clay, roll that into your hand to create a sphere, and then with the palm of your hand, not with your fingers or your knuckles, you're just gonna take that and you're gonna flatten it out thick as an Oreo. Score and slip the back side, and then you can place that inside your fish's mouth. Now these can point down, they can point out, they can roll, they can ripple, however you would like, and you can use your wood tool to add a few details like a center line down the middle to make that look more like a tongue. So now we have lips and we have our tongue on our fish. Um, the last thing we have to add are side fins. So again, all you have to do is make a slab, Roll your sphere first in your hands. Flatten it out with your palm. And then for this part, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the pointy end of our wood tool and we're just gonna scratch the shape of the fin into our slab. Just barely scratch it so you can just see what kind of shape you wanna make. And then I'm gonna use my wood tool just to make some little lines, make it look like scales or some other kind of little design on my fin. And then to cut this out, you're just gonna press all the way through your clay and pull with your wood tool, and you will be able to cut that fin out. Now, if it's a little um, jagged on the edges, you can just very carefully, you can smooth with your fingers to make that really nice and neat. And then score and slip on the back, and you can attach that to the side of your fish. Now, you would also make a fin for the other side and then at this point, when you have eyes, lips, a tongue, and two side fins, um, from here on out, you can add whatever you would like. I'm gonna have some little stamps on your table, so if you wanna take those and press those into the back fin of your fish to create a little bit more of an impression or design, you can do that. Um, I'm keeping my fingers on the back side so I don't press all the way through. You can do that to your fish's tail as well. You can flip it around and do it to the other side. You can use these stamps on the fins if you don't want to draw designs. Um, you can also use your wood tool to scrape some little um, lines that may look like scales or other designs on the side of your fish to give it a little bit more texture, make it look a little bit more interesting. Just be careful that you don't cut all the way through. You barely have to touch um, the fish to scrape or scratch a little design in there. Um, I've also had kids who have wanted to add teeth, who have wanted to add catfish whiskers. All of that is totally okay with me. Um, I've even had um, some kids put a mustache on their um, fish before. The only thing I ask is that you use um, coils and spheres and slabs to create those different things that you want to add. And no matter what it is, if it's teeth on the outside, if it's additional whiskers or maybe some more fins, that you always, always, always score and slip um, with your toothbrush.